hi guys welcome back again to my channel thank you guys so much for your massive love and support i don't take your love for granted so in today's video i want to quickly react to this particular video i saw trending on social media the last time dino malaye that is nigerian former senator wanted to be funny he said comparing nigeria to ghana is like comparing lamborghini to camry like <laughs> i laugh in swahili that means he's trying to say that ghana is camry while nigeria is lamborghini so i asked again what is there to compare to Ghana? As I speak right now, the video you guys are watching on the screen is a STEM school in Ghana. If not that I saw the name boldly written, I wouldn't believe that this is a school. This looks like five-star hotel. So I'm going to share this video and a lot of more videos that is going to serve as an eye-opener to a lot of Nigerians that feel that Ghana is common. I'm here to debunk that narrative and of course I'm going to show you guys a lot of more schools. See, the thing I'm going to tell you guys for free is the fact that Nigerian government is not intentional when it comes to good education. We don't really have good government schools in Nigeria. This schools are free <laughs> these schools are government owned schools these schools are stem schools in ghana and let me say something ghanaians are quite intentional when it comes to the level of standard of education the last time peter b spoke he said when it comes to the whole of west africa educational wise ghana takes the lead enough of the talking uju i'm gonna let you guys watch all these videos and of course how intentional Ghana government is when it comes to standard education. Without wasting much of your time, let's quickly look at all these videos, admire it together, and then after watching this video, let me know in the comments if Nigeria is truly a Lamborghini to Ghana, or should we say Nigeria is now the Trotro in Ghana? Watch, guys. <laughs> President of the Republic of Ghana, since elected into office, prioritized education in Ghana and has therefore made voluminous investments in the sector. Under the leadership of the president, the minister has embarked on a major push to transform education in Ghana with a major focus on STEM. I've been giving an example for which I'm supposed to identify the salt that is present. The salt is unknown. I first dissolve the salt in a solution. Then I will add um, some amount of NaOH solution in drops first, then in excess. So with the observations I've made so far, I can see that the salt that the substance was given is copper. Of the six. This has resulted in a massive transformation in our second cycle institutions that's building laboratories for the study of physics, chemistry, and biology. My name is Sarah Amiru. And I'm Lisana Adiabam. And we are from Every Girl Senior, Senior High, High School. School. This is our prototype. It is an automatic seed planter. And we are so much grateful to STEM Inclusion Ghana for giving us the opportunity to display our innovation skills. Thank you so Thank much, STEM in Ghana. Let's quickly take a look at this masterpiece, STEM Innovation Ashanti Region. This is where the government of Ghana is taking our education system to. STEM is the way. As a Nigerian, I'm reacting to this because to be very honest, this kind of this type of benefit, we do not enjoy it at all. It has been my dream to be in the STEM competition for a really long time and then now I've been given the opportunity to be part of it. Life without innovation can be started. Hence, innovation has made life simple and then easier. Our main source of data collection was from the five municipality. Thomas Fuller once said, I quote and unquote, we will never know the worth of water till the world is dry. That's why this is a sustainable method of watering plants. Our main aim of this project is to sustain energy. Why do you use the filter water on the crops? Okay, so mostly the water being used for irrigation, of course, and not that. So we don't have to uh, filter the water like the highway. So after taking Trinity, the sediment filter, that's taking off the sand and the silt, and carbon which I take out the sediment, the carbon, that's chemicals in the water. The water is being used for irrigation. The Renal Patient Association of Ghana has voiced concerns over the recent surge in dialysis costs, escalating from 380 Ghana cities to 491 Ghana cities. And to address the issue, the students of Obasi Senior High Technical School has designed a homemade dialysis machine, which is more affordable than the typical dialysis machine, costing over $30,000. The alarm, after the tank is full, it doesn't necessarily mean it's full. It will take some time. So when the alarm beeps, you know that it's full and now you have to, off, um, you have to switch your tank off. This device we have here is called a smart road wind turbine. It will be placed on our road. When a vehicle passes, it creates a kinetic energy. This kinetic energy will be captured by the blaze of our turbine, then causes it to rotate. What exactly is this project doing? So the project here, we are filtering water and purifying water. But in as much as we are doing that, we want to clean water bodies because we have lakes and river bodies that contain a lot of plastics and debris. But the whole process was very nice because we are trying to create um, something that will solve our social problem. 
Well, we are expecting to actually win because we worked so hard for this. This is not just um, a, a one month or two months work. It was actually done like we conceived the idea even before we came to the school. So like we've been researching on it. So to see this come into reality and to see us win, no, it will just be a very very big victory for our school and our entire team at large. From the headquarters, from the ministry, from the head, that's Madam Afra, the deputy president for NETA, and the entire team adding up and or summing up these maths from the online marking to the physical marking the overall champion for our shanty region goes to no other school but the sofa boys girls yes and to our girls yes and to our girls won the best stem championship project in our shanty region let's give it up to them let's give it up to them we all saw their artifacts we saw their project we saw how fascinating it was we saw how they were controlling from their remotes from their phones and they have emerged the Ashanti regional champions, the overall champions. What would you say to the Ministry of Education for organizing such events? Oh, I'm grateful to the Ministry of Education for organizing these programs, and I increase and urge everyone to take part in STEM activities. Also, I want these programs to be organized frequently so that the young minds here can learn more about technology and upcoming events in this country and the world. The world transformed by science and technology. Imagine a future where the tools of innovation and progress are within the reach of every student, shaping not only their lives, but the destiny of our dear nation. It's the bottom of the bank. STEM Academy is worth showcasing to the world. This school, as I don't know, I don't know how to put this. This video, actually, when I came across this video, I was overwhelmed. I was like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm short of words. Like, this school opened my eyes to how intentional Ghanaians are when it comes to education. For the fact that this is a STEM school, I, do, I, I know, I know, like, Please, you guys, let me know what you think about this particular school because I'm literally struggling trying to put words together. Like, I am literally struggling trying to put the words together. What more can you guys, can you see the school lobby? Can you guys see the, the, um, the I think it has dining area. It has a lot of infrastructure, like standard. Please, I ask again, is this free? Is this Accra STEM Academy free beacon? I know they speak my dialect given because this looks like I don't even know what to qualify it with. There is no school in Nigeria that looks that looks this good. Like you can't even compare at this point. So Dino Malaye, please come and see this. Let me know if indeed <laughs> Nigeria is still a Lamborghini to Ghana. Because I don't even know what to say at this point. Look at classrooms. Eh? Should we talk about the color blend? Should we talk about the, the, the interior? Should we talk about the... Oh, my God. This is... Uh, uh, ha! Look at the laboratory, guys. Eh? My picking no notebook will not be safe if you don't come here. If you come here, you must notebook. Hmm. When I came across this school, I was like, it would be very unfair for me if I failed to share this because... I love the fact that Ghana is already in the map. I love the fact that people, especially Nigerians, are beginning to change their narratives about, should I, should I say, a lot of misconceptions they feel about Ghana and Ghanaians because make it make sense. This school is the world class. Like, let me know in the comments, is your child attending this school? Did you attend this school? Do you know anybody that is attending this school? Because, oh, more, this school is giving me chills. <laughs> I am, at this point, I'm so proud of Ghana and Ghanaians. I am super proud of you guys. You guys don't know what you enjoy. You guys don't know. So, I'm not saying that there are no, no good schools in Nigeria, but there are only private schools. 
if we talk about government schools in Nigeria, you cannot see some, well, there, well, short, I don't need to talk. There's no comparison at all, okay? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I came across these videos and I was like, wow, I love the fact that these guys are intentional. And the fact that these videos are new, are newly, like there are new videos trending on social media. I'm going to put a video of what the STEM school, this, uh, this particular Accra STEM Academy looks like when it was under construction. And of course, you guys have seen the finished look. It's their intentionality for me. Shall let me know what you think in the comment because if you leave me, I will keep ranting and ranting and ranting. So this video is not going to be, it's not, it's not serving comparison. This is going to be an eye opener. And of course, let me create awareness about what schools in Ghana look like. So maybe our Nigerian government should also try to emulate from them because this is a world class school. Do whatever hitting subscribe button to be part of this great community. I would like to have you here. Let me wrap for you guys. And I will see you all shortly in my next video. Stay happy, be kind, and be blessed. Bye, guys.